I'll pretty much say my face. I need my face to be clear. Okay, so your face over any moves that you have? <laughs> Probably my shooting, my shooting uh, motion and uh, my jumping ability. If you were going to select a perfect my team, with you included, you had to pick four other players, past or present, who are you picking? Kari at the point guard, uh, shooting guard Michael Jordan, small forward me, Tim Duncan at the power forward, and center Hakeem Olajuwon. A lot of people don't select Tim Duncan. I think he, for how underrated. great, he is on, I was just about to say, he's underrated. Underrated. But he's like one of the best power forwards of all time, like top two, top three, maybe one. Maybe one. Well, you got to say that now because you're a company man. Maybe not, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> this ain't, this ain't mine. We're here at 2K23 House of Greatness at Summer League, where NBA players and some of the 2K community are checking out 2K23 for the very first time. Okay, what do you think about NBA 2K23 so far? I like it. I like the animations. What are the biggest differences? And yeah, I like the, the graphics too. I feel like the faces look a little more. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And inside the locker room, everyone trying to lock in. Get mentally ready for another hard-fought NBA battle. Welcome from Indianapolis, Indiana. A perfect night in downtown Naptown. They love their basketball in the Hoosier State. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. With Hall of Famers, Grant Hill and... Hey, Allie. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineup. Very interesting, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. A look at the Pistons starting group. They and Grant make up the forward pair. Corey Joseph out there with Cunningham. And it's Bagley in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Indiana... We've got Miles Turner, T.J. Warren out there with Buddy Heald. Then it's Halliburton, and it's Brogdon in a two-guard. And it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. And this game will represent a much-needed win for one of these teams. Grant, I've heard players say they hate losing more than they love winning. Think that's true? I think it's definitely true. I mean, most players would say that, and I would say that. And we know only one team can win it all, so that competitive streak can be torturous. Grant? Oh, Grant throws it down. Well, there's an understanding of when to give up the basketball. And Corey Joseph, really good job taking what he sees in the pick and roll. Brogdon, the pass to Halliburton. Outside Warren. Just five on the clock. Here's Turner. No good on the shot. And Detroit will go the other way with it. Pass to Joseph. To the left side wing. Here's Cunningham. Over Warren. Hey, Warren with the nice defensive effort. Here's Halliburton. Pass to heel. Takes it inside. And down it goes. Two points. Heald's got five points. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. You know, when Buddy Heald came into the league, he joined a select list of current and former NBA players that hail from the Bahamas. It's not a long list but it's longer than you might think. And what's incredible is Buddy did a fantastic job for the relief effort in the Bahamas after the devastating hurricane in 2017. His work to raise funds and resources for the people who were affected was so important to that entire nation. Going inside. 
It's rebounded by Grant. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Pass to Cunningham. Down low. Here's Bagley. The shot comes out. So Indiana will take it the other way. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And Halliburton, the bucket, on the assist by Brogdon. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Cunningham. Turner covers. Here's Bagley. Cranked it in off the glass. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. Now here's Halliburton. Not a lot of room. To the middle. Here's Warren. And the layup falls. Well, T.J. Warren's frame and game perfectly suited for a finish on the interior. Pass to Cunningham. And here's Bay. Outside Bagley. Here's Joseph. And a miss there on the triple. For Indiana, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Healed against Bagley. Now healed. He's got five. Brogdon up top. Pulls it. And he's off on his first shot of the game. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. There's a minute 54 left in the first quarter here. Pass to Joseph. Now Bay. Now Bagley. Defended by Halliburton. Bagley, no good. Indiana leading. Halliburton finds heel. Now here's Brogdon. He's covered by Grant. Now here's Brogdon. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Goes back up. And a nice layup by Turner. Miles Turner is simply a workhorse. I mean, he keeps plays alive with his length and activity. Detroit calls timeout. You have to respect the impact Miles Turner has on the defensive end of the floor. He's led the league in blocks, and that is no easy task in an NBA full of aggressive defenders. So Indiana ends up going with a new group. game but life is good life is good for sure any critique of yourself in the video game anything we could do better um 
I just wish my jumper was a little more consistent, but maybe I got to show something in the season. We'll see, though. But maybe on this one, we can get my jumper a little better. All right. We'll see. Thank we'll you so much. I appreciate it. Tyler, you're getting an early taste of NBA 2K23. What do you think of the game thus far? I'm just happy to be able to play the game. Uh, it's a dope experience. So happy to be here. The first time we talked to you was in 2019. You were just drafted. You were in the game for the first time. How has your... And a brick. Thank you, Kevin. It's rugged. Tough road, David. No question about it. Thank you. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Warren and Turner at go. the four and five. Tyrese Halliburton is out there with Brogdon. And it's healed in at the small forward position. And for the Suns, the star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Aiton is the pivot. And Crowder slides in at the four. And it's Bridges in at the small forward. The shot by Brogdon, no good. That was one of the things most fans don't notice, but Malcolm Brogdon, Greg, is one of the best free throw shooters ever. Uh, how about had a year where he shot 93% from the line to lead the NBA, and for his career, just about a 90% shooter. That's a huge advantage for a point guard like Brogdon, a guy who handles the ball late in close games. Halliburton passes to Brogdon. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And so Aiton will bring it up for Phoenix. Booker looking around. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Paul's shot is off. Halliburton against Zayton. And it's Halliburton missing. Whoops. Got caught in between moves there on his way to the rack. Booker with it. Halliburton picks him up. They get it back. Early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. Bounce pass from Brogdon. The three... He can't get that one to fall. The Suns go the other way with it. Booker outside. Pass to Bridges. Paul outside. And the pass to Crowder. He kicks to Booker. Five on the clock. Over Halliburton. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. And it is good. And both teams here early on, just a bit sluggish. It took what seemed like forever for that first basket to fall. So the Pacers called timeout their first of the game. And, and you know, Booker might have been a volume shooter, at least early in his career, but now he's a legit number one option for an offense. The Pacers have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. And Craig, the efficiency for Booker has grown over the years. And no longer forcing shots. Takes what's available to him, 
and I believe he can be the leading scorer on a championship caliber team. Indiana shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And their success rate on the season, right around 77. That free throw good from Brogdon. Well, Brogdon being the rookie of the year and coming in and doing a great job for the Milwaukee Bucks. This is a guy who could play either guard position and has a great mentality and great poise as a point guard. And so he makes both from the line. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Booker against Brogdon. Let's it go with a three. Devin Booker, and that's good. Booker's got five points so far. Booker knows he's got the ultimate green light, and right now, exploring the three-point line. Bridges against Teal. Over Bridges. The Pacers keeping it going. Look at that. The effort points by Turner. Working hard inside. Getting rewarded with some points. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Crowder kicks to Booker. Shoots over Turner. Here's Hayton. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Um, I got a daughter now, so things are um, good, you know? When are we going to see you on a cover of NBA 2K? By 20, by 2K27. Okay, I like that. Let's do it. Are you ready to go get my My Team card? Let's see how it turned out. Let's go. For those of you who joined us for our inaugural 2K TV Tuesday event, thank you for helping us make it a huge success. We were there competing and... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Road Warrior Wizards arriving at the arena. Thank you, Brian. Well, Allie, he's put a lot of work into that area of his game. Good stuff there. And now the Washington Wizards starters. They've got Bradley Beal, Kyle Kuzma out there with Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Then it's Christoph Porzingis. And it's Neto in at the point guard position. And for Chicago, Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Patrick Williams out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's DeRozan in at the three. And tonight, the rare marquee matchup at center, Grant. This ought to be a treat. Oh, yes. Two heavyweights slugging it out. The different styles, but the same goal to dominate at the painted area. Now here's Levine. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Oh, Levine is such an explosive player. He's able to fight through the contact and get it to go. 
to the inside. Kuzma. And it's Kuzma finishing it off. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Ball passes to Levine. Picked his pocket. We played just over a minute here in the first. Out to Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. See, I love how Beal didn't settle for the layup right there. He made sure to finish it with strength. The Bulls on offense. Pass to Levine. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Driving in. Porzingis grabs the board. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Kuzma down low. Working on Williams. It's Kuzma with the miss. Here's Levine. Beal with some nice D. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Zach Levine, the UCLA product, I mean, he has continued to improve over time. He's now a bona fide star in this league. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Beal outside. With the drive, and a nice finish on the layup. Beal's gotten his second bucket. Chris, you think back to the injuries Levine has had to overcome. It's amazing where he is now. I mean, he showed mental fortitude. He's still an elite athlete, but the sky's the limit for him. Ball finds Vucevic. Great D that time from Porzingis. The Wizards have gone three of five shooting so far. Pass to Beal. And here's Porzingis. Here's Caldwell Pope. Beal outside. Shot clock at five. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Left side, Levine. Now ball. DeRozan with the ball. DeRozan double teamed. The three from ball. The shot won't fall. And it's Washington the other way. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Here's Neto. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. But that's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Now here's Levine, trailing by four, and that one's good. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. Here's Neto, hounded by ball. A minute 53 left to play in the first. Beal, the pass to Kuzma. Into the lane, soft touch off the glass. Are just a ferocious competitor. I like seeing Kuzma go right at the defense like this. Such assertiveness. Ball finds DeRozan. Over Porzingis. Rebound by the Wizards. The setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. Kuzma, that's good. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Six-point game. Pass to Levine. Williams against Kuzma. And to Rosen with the basket. On the assist from Williams. Now that's an assertive offensive talent. DeRozan is able to use his size to his advantage. Washington calls timeout. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. 